Hello everyone, Stryker here, and welcome back to another episode of The Great Pyramid. Today we will be analyzing the king's antechamber to see if it had a different function, rather than the most popular explanation widely accepted today. The most popular is that this was a type of portcullis, to hold granite stones up out of the way until Khufu's remains could be buried, then the stones could be lowered to seal off the entrance to the king's chamber. As you see here, the ribs have been chiseled out to relatively the same height and don't go all the way to the floor. Of course anyone can say that the ribs were chiseled out to remove the stones, but let's look at some of the other evidence and get a better understanding. Here you have notched out holes all along the grand gallery and in equal measurements of each other. So, when you combine all things together, the antechamber and grand gallery can be used as a counterweight tugger system to aid the ancient builders to haul up the heavy stones. So, by only adding two stones and sheaving the ropes like this, then it becomes a counterweight. Next, add chalk blocks to the notches in the grand gallery. Here's how the system would work. As the workers begin pulling on the ropes, the two counterweight stones rise until they hit against the remaining ribs to stop them from pinching the ropes. Once enough pulling pressure is applied, the sled begins to slide forward, causing the counterweights to drop back down, pulling the sled a full distance between the chalk blocks. Then a board is placed across the blocks to hold the sled, so the workers can reset for another pull. So, did the ancient builders use this as a counterweight tugger to help them drag the heavy stones up the grand gallery? It's up to you to decide. And thank you for watching.